gentlemen and today I want to go ahead and create uh, metal shaders. I want to go use both uh, the blend and fong materials to create it. Right now I just have this um this cup right here which I want to turn into an actual glass. Um, and I have it surrounded um, by a box. If you see if I zoom in and out of here I have it um, with a box with a checkerboard um, texture applied to it so um, you can easily see it once we apply the material so let's go ahead and get started go to window go to rendering editors and go to your hypershade now I already have a few materials already made up here but let's go ahead and start off by creating a blend so I'm gonna click on this button over here for blend and just double click into that making sure that it opens up here in the attribute editor so I'm going to go ahead and hold down the middle mouse button, drag it over to this cup here, and let's start working on the attributes of this shader. So for right now, I want to go ahead and make the color very dark. So just under common material attributes, make the color dark. It doesn't have to be all the way black, but I'm going to make it very dark here. Then I'm going to go down here to specular shading. Now here in the blend, remember, the higher you make the specular shading, the larger you make the highlight. The smaller you make the, the value of the eccentricity, um, it makes the highlight much smaller. So I'm going to make it somewhat small. I'm going to keep it around 0 0.1, 0 0.13 right here. Then I'm going to go down to specular color. At this point, I'm going to make it as light as I can make it. just going to hit accept. And I'm going to go down here to reflectivity and bring reflectivity around 0.8. It's not going to be perfect, but I'm going to have it near 0.8. I'm just going to move the slider to roughly that. Okay, and let me go back up here to right under color. You have transparency. I'm going to turn it almost all the way up, roughly about right here. Not fully, not fully transparent. Um, keep a little bit of, little bit of um, you know, opaqueness to the, to the material here. Okay, now once we have this together, I'm going to go down here to where it says Ray Tracing Options. Go ahead and click on Ray Tracing. Make sure that you have Refractions. Make, this, make sure this is selected. The Refraction Limit, I'm going to bring up to the limit at 10. And I'm going to bring Light Absorption to around 2. Well, around 2.1 here and you can make it to, again I'm just moving the slider and surface thickness I'm going to make around 0.1 okay again it's not perfect you can type in the actual values as you want I'm just going to you know average it you know just by moving the slider so it's around 0.1 for the surface thickness and light absorption around roughly around 2 okay so once you have that together go up here to this button right up here this button right up here looks like a a slate uh, movie camera type thing so just click on this button with the left mouse button and we're going to be under Maya software so I'm going to go ahead and you click on the Maya software tab go to quality make sure you have it as production quality and then go down to where it says ray tracing quality okay just click on that and make sure ray tracing is clicked so now go ahead and close that and you just go ahead and you can minimize or just move down your hypershade and you see um, how it's reacted here to this glass if I click on the render current frame button here we have it here we have our nice glass well glass our nice little wine glass and there's a little bit of thickness to the glass here again I, I created this with a curve and it creates a certain amount of thickness in it so that the reflections and refractions are bouncing not only off of the surface here but also in between as well so whenever you're creating any kind of object it's good to already have some kind of thickness within it it adds a little more to the reflectivity and by having a texture around it you can see the reflections of this texture all within here so that's how you go ahead and make it for a blend and we're going to go in the next video, we're going to um, use the Fong and you know, use similar um, attributes here that we use for the blend to create that.